Hello everybody, this is Danny Bauer, Senior Pastor here at Word of Faith Family Church here in Lander. Greetings to you. Pray you're having a great day today and all is well in your world. Just wanted to take a little bit and, and uh, sit down and go over a couple of things with you. Praying about uh, how to uh, address each one of you about our stand here at Word of Faith Family Church concerning the uh, kind of virus that's going around and whatnot. And so, um, as I begin to pray about this, uh, I, I begin to look that there's actually two two things that I want to address you concerning. Um, you know that we live in a natural world, but we are also supernatural beings. We're we're uh, spirit beings that we are. And we, even though that we're spirit beings, we still live in a natural world. That being said, there's rules that governs the natural realm and there's rules that governs the, the spiritual realm. And, and sometimes when we get in trouble is when we try to mix the two up and try to use the natural rules and the supernatural realm and vice versa. So a couple, of, so I, as, I, as I begin to pray about this and, and seek the Lord concerning this, I, I want to give you six points on the in the in the super, the supernatural realm, the spiritual realm, and then uh, also six points in the natural realm. So first off, one of the the, the I think the very most important things we need to remember is uh, that we can't be getting motivated by fear concerning all this that's going around. Uh, fear is gripping the hearts of men, and fear does some terrible, nasty things in in our lives if, if we allow it. And, and, and why fear is so powerful is because it's a negative form of faith, is faith in the negative. I think about even what Job said. He said, that that I've greatly feared has come upon me. And so we know that fear has the ability to produce just like faith has the ability to produce. And that's why it's so important that we don't get into fear and because we don't live there, but we're to live in faith. So how do you address fear? Well, you get into the word of God and let faith arise in your heart. Secondly, uh, uh, it's very important to locate our faith, where our faith is at. And you need to do that today. You need to locate your faith. Where, where is your faith at? I'm not talking about what you think you know uh, concerning head faith, but what you know in your heart. You know that you know that you know that you know that you know. It's a knowing. It's a, it's a confidence. And so locate your faith because uh, you have to operate in your realm of faith. And, and so uh, as we uh, are going to go ahead and have services here uh, tomorrow, a Sunday, um, we ask you to, to operate in the faith that you're in. If, you, if your faith is not to the point that you know, hey, I, I have no fear of this, I am fine, our, our children, and um, you're all good with that, then that's fine. But, but uh, you have to locate your faith to find out where it's at. And this has to go with anything in our life, really, to locate our faith. Thirdly, find all your scriptures concerning healing and health that God's promised you. Find all your, all your scriptures. Go through and dig them out and write them down and, and then begin to uh, look over them over and over and over and then begin to declare those. That's the next one is, is number four is declare, um, uh, declare it every day. Especially, I'll tell you a really good one is Psalms 91. And we're going to go over that in the morning and and uh, boy, there's some good stuff in there about how the plague is no place and, and uh, near us and our home or anything. So we declare those promises every day over our lives. And that's very, very vital. But you gotta find them first in scripture, just like Jesus did. He found himself in scriptures and declared it. And we're to do the same thing. We find what the word says about us because that's our final authority, our final say so. Number five. Thank God for the name and the blood. Well, use them. Use the name. It's been given to us. Great price was paid with the name of Jesus and, and his blood was shed for us. Great power. Uh, the Bible says uh, every knee has to bow to the name of Jesus. Well, you know, we have a, a name on this, COVID-19. It has a name and it has to bow its knee to the name of Jesus. Thank God for that. And then the blood. Thank God, you know, just like the Passover, uh, when the death angel came to the door uh, of the doors of the different homes and they seen the blood around the doorpost, they had to pass on by. They could not dare cross that bloodline. Well, guess what? The blood has never lost any of its power. Praise God. Still alive 
and real today. <laughs> Glory to God. I'm thankful for the blood. Amen. And then lastly, give God thanks. Oh, we just thank you, Lord, for your goodness and your provision that you've given us and your safety. Thank you for giving us the blood and the name, everything that you provided for us. Oh, Father, we're just so thankful for your goodness. You're so, so good. He's good. And we have to remember to give him thanks every day. Amen. It's because of the blood and the name and his word that we live free of this. So let me just talk to you about a couple in the natural realm real quick. Number one, don't get caught up in all the hype and, and allow fear to come into your heart. That's just a natural thing you can do. You know, you you can read the news and see it, but don't meditate on and say, oh my gosh, it's, it's going to be terrible because you've heard me say before, what we magnify will be magnified. What we look at grows bigger and bigger and bigger to us. And we need to be looking at the word and let it grow bigger to us and not fear. So don't get caught up in all the hype. Secondly, uh, you know, if, if you're not feeling well, if you got the sniffles and the cough, go out, don't go out and about and spread it around. That, that don't just have to do with just, um, you know, the, this particular virus. It has to do with any of them. Just use wisdom on what we do. Thirdly, wash your hands. You know, cover your mouth if you're, if, if you're coughing or sneezing or something like that. Uh, nobody wants your cooties, you know, <laughs> so you need to just, you know, just just uh, take some common sense concerning that, just some natural things. Fourthly, it's very important to eat and drink healthy. You know, don't, don't you know, your body is like a machine. You put good stuff in it. You don't throw a bunch of sugar in it and expect it to perform, uh, you know, on the top uh, how it should. But, but be eating healthy things. I, I'd like to eat oranges. Boy, I tell you what, I, I go through the oranges. Vitamin C, great. You know, and, and just just be uh, wise about your eating and your fruits and vegetables. You know, so let your body immune system build up. We're talking about the natural side of one thing, uh, of these things. Uh, and then fifthly, use wisdom. Just use general wisdom on what you do. You know, don't, don't, uh, don't do stupid stuff. Just, um, you know, uh, uh, read maybe up on some uh, some good nutrition that's good for you and things things that you need to do. And don't uh, you know? Don't go running outside in this in the cold weather without any jacket on or something like that. Take care of your body. It's the temple of the Holy Ghost. And we have a responsibility to that. And then lastly, uh, be smart. Just be smart. You say, well, what's the difference between wisdom and being smart? Well, wisdom has to do with the things that we we've learned and we gained the knowledge concerning but being smart sometimes is 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 just you know watch your surroundings you know if you you see people that's not feeling well or whatever you know just don't don't open yourself up to stuff or your children you know be smart and i think through all this uh you know i see a takeaway on this that we should be smarter after all this we should be doing all this anyway and uh and and, and it's important i know Myself, there's certain things that I do as a pastor, you know, after I shake hands and stuff, you know, I wash my hands and sanitize before I eat and things like that. I think it's just an everyday uh, common sense thing. So, um, so I do want you to know that we will be having service again, like I said, tomorrow. And, and uh, we're going to be taking communion tomorrow, which I think is, uh, is really appropriate for this a great time to receive communion together. And uh, reminding ourselves and what God says of the covenant that we have with us. So if you can't be here and you feel like uh, you, you shouldn't be out, then uh, you can certainly watch us uh, live stream. You can watch us on Facebook Live. We'll be right there, praise God. And uh, we're just, we're gonna have a good time here though. And uh, be blessed, no fear, praise God. Full confidence in what God said he would do. His blood is not lost an ounce of his power. God loves you, praise God, and we love you. And remember, you're valuable and you're precious. You're special and you're important to him. We love you. God bless you. Have an awesome day.